Trevor Hedge here from mcnews.com.au at the world launch of KDM's 1290 Super Adventure, the biggest, most luxurious motorcycle ever to come out of their Medighofen headquarters in Austria. It's one mighty machine, 1301cc, 1290 Super Ducard derived engine, making 160 horsepower and 140 newton metres of torque by 6750 RPM. But the real breakthrough is just how smooth this engine is. It, the 1190 made a large step forward from the 990 with how smooth running it was, how low in the RPM you could dip and the machine not grumble and carry on. And this has taken it to another level again. It's pegged back a little bit from the, from the Super Duke R, which uh, in this guise is exactly what you would want really. But it still pulls a very, very hard, you can short shift. No matter how tight the roads, you really don't need to go down below much though. Third gear is probably the lowest gear you'd normally use unless it really, really is a tight switchback hairpin. The gearbox is uh, very smooth and fuss free, has a slipper clutch. The throttle response is very smooth. As I say, it's one of the biggest step forwards KDM's made in recent years with their development partner Bosch. Again, who uh, in this machine has got their uh, all their whole gamut of electronic aids with uh, full programmable traction control if you, if you, through various modes from the bars and also switchable mode ABS, lean angle sensitive traction control. It really have, does have uh, absolutely everything that they could throw at it, they've thrown at this thing. The really big difference with the electronic suspension that you notice while riding is when you get on the gas out of a turn is probably the most, when you most realise it, where the machine doesn't squat at the rear, it just sort of digs in and drives. Uh, there is wheelie control as well, but uh, that can be switched off when you want to have fun and it, this big girl doesn't take much to get up on the back wheel, I must say. From the front of the machine, you can see it's got large and sturdy spoke rims. So the machine can, is designed to go off-road. KDM aren't really marketing it, and we haven't been off-road on this launch as an off-roader, but they have done a lot of off-road development, and the bike is still very capable off-road. On the road, we've been uh, the last couple of days around Canary Islands, which is uh, quite a mag magnificent venue, I must say, and uh, some very tight and challenging roads, which were uh, great fun to ride on this thing. We mentioned the luxury and the safety and technology of this machine. It's got a heated rider's seat, independently controlled heated pillion seat, uh, adjustable cruise control on the, on the bars, and same as you can go through your tracking control and modes and riding modes from the bars also. It's a very comfortable machine. The screen's adjustable. Uh, on the fly, it's much easier to uh, roll down on the fly than, than up, I found, but um, overall it's a very comfortable machine, very, very fast machine, and a very well-equipped machine and uh, it should make a big inroads into the adventure touring category at the top echelon of the market.